It's on this, my hair. This is way too much. Hey everyone, so I'm back doing a review, whatever you want Wednesday. I have no makeup on because I am going to put makeup on after the introduction because I am going to talk about ColourPop's new makeup brushes. Now, I think I've never used them. They're still in their plastic. I've been dying to use them. So the thing with ColourPop, they, I think it was like, mm, like the week of the 14th. So I think it was actually on December 14th because I did a video that day and I was like, if ColourPop comes out with makeup brushes, I will totally buy them. I did a, I uploaded a, a video on a ColourPop pop. They smell weird. So, um, I bought, I think when I uploaded that video, I'm like backtracking now. They released the, the, these brushes. So it was like, if you buy two, if you buy two eyeshadows, two of their eyeshadows, you get one brush. So if you buy four, you get two brushes, and if you buy six, you get three brushes, and so on and so forth. I think there was like a limit too. Um, <clears throat> so I bought six eyeshadows. Um, I want to buy one for my, you know, I got one for my mom. So I believe they retail for seven dollars because when it was in my cart, it was saying like they're seven dollars, and that's pretty, a, that's a great price, by the way. So I'm just kind of guessing they can be around seven dollars a brush. Well, well, I think these are. Um, so I want to do like a first impressions on them and like a demo using them because I have no makeup on, I have to go to work, I got called in. But anyways, so I just thought they a very long intro. So I want to use some of the eyeshadows that I have here. I know like As If is no longer available, I don't believe. And I'm not too sure about this one. But the other ones that I'm using um, are available still. I believe the only one that's not, might not be available anymore is the As If. I can't be too sure. Um, that's why I stopped buying Claire Pops. Um, like collection sets because if you guys can't get them there's no point of me using them in the video. So I have other ColourPop, ColourPop items. I'm going to prime my eyelids and then I'm going to zoom you guys in very closely so we could start using these bad boys. I feel like that's close enough because I don't have a lot of makeup on you guys. Okay so they have a weird scent to it but I don't know if you guys could see, is a, this is the flat eyeshadow brush like for the base. So I want to use this one with Color Pops. I can dare. Uh, this is a gorgeous color. No, I, I think this was in actually my haul video. So I'm going to pick it up. It actually picks up quite nicely. And I loaded the brush. Now, I'm going to place that on my eyelid. And I'm going to take, I don't even know what these brushes are called. It doesn't even have a name. So I'm going to call this the blending brush. I know it's a blending brush, but I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. I'm going to pick more up. And just pat it in. I think that's the best way to really use these brushes is just to pat it in like you would do your, uh, if you'll pick it up with your finger. There we go. It actually looks really good when I pat it in. I was just kind of first like doing uh, this kind of motion, but if you pat it in, it's actually a lot better. So I'm gonna take the blending brush and I'll pick up just any brown color will do. This is the As If color. I'm gonna pick some of that up to see how it really just like blends with the color pop eyeshadow. I'm gonna close this um, eye candy color and I'm gonna put this in my crease. Mm. Let me just like swirl it around. I need that. Yeah, I think you just swirl it around. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Now I can really see it. But these have a funky smell to them. I think it's the paint. <laughs> it's the paint, you guys. So I would suggest to swirl it in and not like kind of like the flat shading brush. You know how you just kind of pick it up like that? With the blending one, you want to like swirl it. And do the same thing to the other eye. Awesome. Now I'm going to take, is this the dirty one? I'm going to take the clean one because I have two of these and kind of blend out the edges. Now I'm going to take that same flat brush because I only have one and I'm going to pick up a lace. This is a gorgeous color. And I'm going to pack that in my outer lip bit. That makes no sense, but when you see where I place it, it will make sense. So place that right here. And blend it. And then I'm going to take a blending brush and kind of help that. I say kind of a lot too. I should stop. So I have a lot of fallout coming. From the eyeshadow that I placed. It looks pretty good, but I want more color. So I'm going to pick more up. Like really pack it on. I should close. And you guys want to make sure when you're using ColourPop, when you're done using that eyeshadow, just close it because it will dry out. It's Pretty interesting, but I love the eyeshadows. I just want more color. Anyways, um, so I just put on my eyeliner off camera because I don't, I didn't think you guys needed to see that. Honestly, I'm gonna put on my foundation and some false eyelashes, and I'm gonna finish doing my lower lash line using these brushes, and I'll show you that bit, and then I will give you my honest opinion about the brushes. Okay, so I am running so late for work, but it's okay. I'm over it. Anyways, so I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take that lace color, the deep purple color. I'll pick some of it up. And then I'm gonna run it underneath my lash line. Wrong there. It's actually really nice to run underneath your lash line because it is pointy. I just took a dark gray color and put it underneath my lash line. Now, here it is. I'm going to take the blending brush and just blend blend out that purple color. Alrighty, so I just tried to blend that out with um, the blending brush. It didn't do that great of a job blending the lower lash line, but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna tear a clean, I'm just gonna kind of swap paint it real quick. It's a clean blending brush. And I'll pick up Virgin from the Naked Palette. And I'll put that right here and right here. Oh, hi, Paco. Okay, 
just like that. All right, you guys. So I added um, ColourPop Zulu in my waterline because I love this color blue, but they don't have it available in like a gel liquid. Because every time I go and try to like buy it, they are all sold out. Like, come on, ColourPop. And then I put ColourPop Stone Up liquid lipstick on my lips and I know I just came out with a video saying like and eh, I don't really care for them yada 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 because I didn't really know how to use them like till this day like right now I put it on but it's kind of hard to know how to use them for them to look like you want them to look it's kind of hard to explain I'll do another video on that but I did put donut on my lips and I just love the way it looks and my honest opinion about these brushes they are good but they're not great um like for ColourPop products, I feel like the Real Techniques brushes are just as good and they're just as cheap as the ColourPop ones. Um, but for the first brushes, I do like them. They're amazing. They do the job. But again, they're good, just not great. That's my honest opinion. I like them. I'm not in love with them. But I hope you guys like this video. Give it some love by liking and you guys should subscribe because it's free and you always get like updates on what I'm doing th today or this video or whatnot. You know, all that jazz. So if you guys like this video, and then don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!